Linda thinks so anyway. <laughs> Well, I got so much out of your information this morning that I was looking for that piece where why is it when I pull up I get this wad of clay? And you answered that question. It, and and, no and honestly, it goes, I, and I did it for years. Yeah. And all of a sudden, if, if, if it happens, you know that you're choking up yeah. too tight up against there. You, you, nobody ever answered that for me. That's great. Thank you. So actually, when you start to pull, you're almost like this. Absolutely, because I mean, you yeah. can make a huge. And as you, and as you come up, they get. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and as I come, I go. Hello. Hello, I'm Donna. Hey. I want that pot. Uh, that one's sold. Oh. That, oh, so sorry. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you yeah. snooze. <laughs> I just got here. Oh no. Well, next time you guys show up, I'll have to okay. do your workshop. Okay, well, talk to the boss. <laughs> oh, I do all the time. That's good. <laughs> Thanks. Now, that one, speaking of which, this one has these colors because that was a colder area on the pot, and it stayed yellow uh -huh. because that is the more natural color. If you were to take this and wash this before you go to seal it, that yellow goes away because it's some of the original stuff. So you don't oh. want to wash these things before you seal them. Oh. And once you seal them in, I don't believe there's any color change in these. You know, I've been doing it for four or five years and the color is not changing, so, you know. Okay. Um, one of the things that I will do with the masonite bats is I will dampen them just a little bit before I slap the clay down because if I miss the center, see it's a little bit off, you have a, a second or two where you can move this over just a little bit before it sticks completely. And then you tap it and it'll, it'll, uh, it'll be closer to center doing that. Boy, these whisper wheels are quiet. See, I don't have that water, that water trough to rest my elbows yeah. on, so I have to use my hips here. I didn't get this on center as well as the last piece, so I will be uh, bringing it up and down a couple of times. And is that your Phoenix clay? No, this is B-Mix. Oh. And B-Mix I throw okay if I have been at it a while. B-Mix is, I like it, but it takes me two or three, four or five pots, a bag of it, before I get back into the groove of it, because every clay it seems like you have to adjust to its ability, adjust your ability with its ability. But you use Moon White most of the time. I use Moon White most of the time. Miller 10T is another clay that you can, that's pretty smooth and it will rack who. It's a little bit more fragile firing than Moon White. Moon White is the, the clay that I, so far that I've found that does what we do the best. Mm -hmm. And that's as of today. And is it a stoneware too? Yes, it, it'll go to cone 10. Oh. Okay, as I'm opening up, I'm going down to leave about this much clay in the bottom of the pot. Um, and I might as well go ahead and use this minute to cut off this other pot and show you how I do that. And I'm leaving enough clay so when I go to take this pot off the bat, it's going to be pretty close to the right thickness. The wiggle wire, I hold it down on the wheel head, and then as I go through, I move it back and forth a little bit and pull through. When you go to take a pot off the wheel head or the bat, the wire where it went in first is sealed back down onto the surface. So when you cut, always lift where the wire came out last, because that's not attached. So I lift like that and it pops up. Whereas if I lifted the other way, I'd crush the pot. And uh, so keep that in mind. If you're, you're working on the wheel and you're, you're cutting things right there when they're wet and you're picking them up and lifting them off, dry the pot out real good so you're not trying to pick up a wet pot and then lift where the wire came out last, because that's not attached to the wheel head. Where it goes in first is. 
So there's that. Now look at the bottom of the pie. It's got wiggles on it. <laughs> okay, back to this. So I'm leaving enough clay where I've got about this much clay in the bottom of that pot right now. So I will just trim out the the squiggles in the center and then that's where I'll sign it. But the foot of the, the pot won't be trimmed so it'll still have those squiggles on it. Okay, I, I don't push straight down because straight down will cut clay. I push down in the center of it on an angle so the clay hits it and slides off as the wheel spins. So I'm on a bit of an angle and I'm pushing down toward the base of the wheel but never straight up and down on it or it'll cut it. Oh, okay, here we go. Remember I talked about the claw move? Basically your hand is in this position. This is touching the bottom the the uh, the bottom of the the inside of the pot the thumb is going to hook in on an angle like this if you go straight in with your thumb it'll hook it and grab and cut into the clay so the outside thumb is on allowing the clay to slip past it so I'm going to grip this and squeeze and move up and inwards so I cone this in and I am lightening up on my squeezing of it so I don't over... I could have stood this up another inch taller but it had been real thin up at the top. Okay, I clean the wheel head up almost every time I go to pull because I want to be able to get underneath that edge when I start to pull. I'll use a sponge in this case on the outside to help me dive in underneath that. But the sponge was it'll be working just like my finger. I'm driving in underneath. Now I'm going to hold this position on the outside. The inside is going to start pushing out and moving up. But the outside hand stayed down. Now I will start to move upwards behind that on the back side of the wave. And I got a little of that clay moving right there. But let's see. I'm not quite used to the B-mix again, but I'll settle in here shortly. Slow it down, clean it up at the wheel head so I can get in underneath it. Slow down. Okay, on the inside, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to press at, on the base outside the pot. Press down and hold position right there. On the inside.